Welcome back gamers. My name is Roll Easy. I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel, watching my videos. Make sure you like them all, all right? It really helps us grow. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And don't forget, turn on them post notifications, man. That's the only way you're going to know right away when I post any more of this dope fucking content, all right? And I'm going to keep coming out with it. I'm consistent, and I've been proving it to you, and I'll keep proving it to you, all right? I just hit a glitch right there. I spawned the MOC right near you. You guys probably didn't even notice it. Watch this next thing, though. Fucking dying with style right there. All right, so just like the title says, man, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a million dollars in one minute. I kid you not, you can dupe each car in one minute and just keep doing them back to back to back until you have filled up every goddamn space in your garage. Now, in my last video, I taught you guys all the different outcomes, what you could possibly do. So if you haven't seen that, I'll put a link in the description. It's really important. Uh, before I start anything else, shout out to the founders, Morphe, and also shout out to Bruntango, man. Morphe's over on Seven Sins, Bruntango's big on it. I'll leave both their links in the description as well. As you can see right here, I'm parking up my MOC by my Muriel Heights garage. Requirements. You're going to need any garage with a flat surface for your MOC to sit on to trigger the animation. I recommend this one. It's like 130 grand, guys. It's not expensive. You're duping retros here for a million dollars. Buy one of these. I know the one at the airport also works, but it kind of spawns your car when you drive out like really far as fuck. This is the best one to do, all right? So you're going to want to park it just like you see me doing here. The car you want to dupe in the MOC, we recommend retros. You make the most. Custom plates. I can't emphasize how much you need custom plates. Make sure this garage has full amount of cars. So 10 cars in this garage. Doesn't matter what they are. Just fill her up. And you want spaces in your other garages, all right? So here we go. Pulling up my mechanics list. Now, on this mechanics list, I'm going to show you, I have everything filled except for Eclipse Tower. So if you see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, in this video, I'm going to do four cars in a row for you. And you'll see, they literally do take a minute of pop. It is very fucking quick. Alright? So, park your MOC just like you see me do here. I'm headed into my MOC now. And you're going to see, man, this is fucking incredible. Alright? And it's basically using the same kind of techniques, but we're doing a little bit different. Oh, and right there, spawn location. Set it to last location, just to make it a little bit easier. Uh, last location is definitely good if you're doing, if you're going to creator and going to an invite-only session. Every dupe, <laughs> you're gonna see what we do on this one though. You only have to go to creator and invite-only session one time. Now you can dupe all your cars in the same fucking session. All right. So here we go. We're gonna get glitched out right here. We hear the ding, and we're gonna go ahead, press right D-pad, press A. Now, let's see what we get. Well, I know what I get. On this first fucking try, I get the infinite black loading screen, of course. So, I gave you, you know, the options, what to do, but we wanna stay in, an, uh, in this session. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go join a friend that I know is in a different targeting mode. I suggest all of us go into a free aim lobby, especially if you're not a PS4 user. If you're on Xbox, go into a free aim invite only session, you know, away from what your other friends have, all right? So I'm gonna join my friend, A on the first alert, accept the first alert, deny the second alert. And you see that? I spawn right back down, right inside the car. Looks familiar, right? We don't gotta go to creator now. All you gotta do is go out of your car. The car is duped. We already have a dupe. It's not gonna show up in your garage though. It's actually invisible. Sounds fucking nuts, I know. But your car's invisible, so check this out. Walk out of the MOC now, go to Rockstar Created, Missions, and start up all in the game. Why all in the game and not a titan of a job? All in the game is a Simeon job. Usually the Simeon, Martin job. It's Simeon or Martin. Usually those jobs work the best, all right? So we're gonna get into the settings. It's a Simeon job. We're gonna back out at the setting screen. Now, once we're backed out, we're just gonna spawn right back down here. First dupe is done. I promised you guys, it takes a minute. You know, I might have taken a little bit long there, but it takes a minute if you just hurry your ass up. So that's basically a million dollars right there we got. We're gonna jump in the car right now, and we're gonna drive it right back out, and we're gonna get glitched out once again. So go ahead, make your way over to the garage. Back it up. It always works better when you, uh, when you back up to the garage. Make sure you got the ding noise, and then you know, right D-pad, press A. Right when you hear that bitch drop and hit the ground, you want to press A. This is the easiest way. So look, we spawned in the garage this time. Just go ahead and back out of the vehicle selection. Don't select anything. Don't select any cars, none like that. Don't switch anything. And just back out of the menu and walk out of the garage. Simple as that. Once we're out of the garage, what are we going to do? We're going to go back to jobs again. Play jobs, Rockstar created. And we're going to go ahead and go to missions and start up the same mission. All in the game. 
Once again, a Simeon job. I do believe the Simeon, Gerald, and Martin jobs do load up pretty quick. Uh, you can actually call them and have it in your phone if you want to. You don't even have to go to start and everything. Uh, like I said, back out of the mission. And dupe number two, done. See, one minute later, that's $2 million. Told you guys, ain't no clickbait. If I put something in my title, it's legit, it's true. I'll never lie to you guys. That's $2 million right there. Yeah, we haven't sold the cars yet, but you got them put away. That's $2 million worth of cars you got put away. And they're not even showing up right now. They're fucking invisible. How dope is that? All right, so we're going to go once again. I think I'm, yeah, I'll end up doing four. I want to fill up that whole garage. We had six cars in that garage, remember? All right, so right D-pad, A. Let's get glitched out again. And remember, there's a bunch of possibilities, but I taught you how to combat all those in the last video. Once again, check that out. Back out of the menu, the vehicle selection menu, and just head outside of the garage. Once we are outside of the garage, either pull up your phone if you have, you know, a Simeon or Martin job in there, but this is pretty easy too. So go to your start menu and start up the mission all in the game right from there. Now what this does, it just spawns you up. Uh, if anybody has questions what this is really doing, it's actually unbricking the car. If you try to take that car out of the MOC right now, it's gonna brick. You can go to creator and you can dupe one car. That's all good, you know, you can do that, but no point. So now the car is unbricked and it's actually duped. That's our third dupe right there. Now let's go in there. And I wanted to fill up all my spaces. I literally have no fucking space now, guys. I don't even know if I can do any more dupe glitches on this channel like today, maybe tomorrow if I sell some more cars. But I have every fucking space filled right now, and I barely have any regular personal vehicles. I have maybe like 15 or 20. The rest are all dupes. I have so many retros, it's stupid. And this is just on one character. I got three more characters that, you know, have a shitload of dupes as well. But all right, guys, let's get the last one done. So right D-pad and A, you guys know the drill. And let's see where we spawn. This time we spawned inside the car. We've seen this one too. Usually we would just start creator from here, but go ahead and go outside. You're going to want to go outside and we're going to start up the job from there. I do believe you can start jobs from inside the MOC, but just to be safe, just walk outside. It takes another five seconds. Go to Rockstar Created or pull up your phone and start up all in the game or any Simeon, Martin, or Gerald job. Like I said, you can call them and request a job and you can just use those jobs. All well, actually, I wouldn't do that. I, would, I think we have to spawn up into the clouds. So, and some of those contact missions don't always spawn you up in the cloud. So just do it the way I'm doing it, all right? And that's it. Dupe number four, done. I promised you guys. All right, so now is when we're gonna go to Creator. This is where the last location comes in if you wanna spawn right back here. So now we're gonna go into Creator, and once we spawn back down right here into the Creator menu, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna press Start, go all the way to the Online tab, go to Play GTA Online, and Invite Only Session. And once we come back, all the cars now will be visible. Now, if you didn't believe me, once you're, if you're doing this, you can go ahead and look at your, uh, your mechanics list and your garage list from the mechanics uh, number before you enter creator. You won't see those cars there, but they all fucking appear once we come back. This is all uncut footage. This is straight, you know, 10 minutes of me, you know, doing this all for you guys, all right? So look, we spawn back down. These, these are, this is one of the dupes that we have right here. It's, I think it's the last, yeah, the last dupe that we did that was, uh, that we duped from the MOC. This is it right here, just chilling. You can pick this up and drive it. Now I'm gonna call my mechanic, take a look. Boom. Four more retros, they're all there. It was Eclipse Tower, man. They're all there. I only had six before, now I got four more in there. I have successfully filled up every freaking garage in GTA 5 Online on this character. I gotta sell some cars. And by the way, guys, real quick, I'm gonna come out with a video tomorrow on the daily sell limit to really explain to you about all this stuff and selling cars because I've been showing you how to dupe cars. Now I'm going to teach you about about dupe glitches, what the, all the different types of dupe glitches, how to classify them so that you can better understand what to do, how to sell them. Two tips, never sell more than two cars in one hour and never sell more than two cars within 31 minutes. Space each sale out by 31 minutes, guys. That's the best tips I can give you for now. Stay out of the red zone. Don't let Rockstar fuck you guys. All right, just have fun, dupe, you know, properly. And that's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Roll Easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys learned some more today. All right, guys, don't forget to like the video. Press that blue thumbs up. Subscribe to me if you're not already. Turn on post notifications so you can be informed the instant I come out with any more of this fresh and informative, dope-ass motherfucking content. I'm Roll Easy. 
and I'm signing out. Take care, guys.